The 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, star dish. You will learn how to make this legendary fork tender Calbee short rib and crusted Chilean sea bass. I was one of the chefs responsible for Barack's 47th birthday and campaign dinner at Stateroom Boss. and cooked a version of this epic dish when I was one of the chefs at Alan Wong's Honolulu, where my nickname was Baby Obama. <laughs> Aloha family and welcome to our first episode of Star Dish. We will turn these beautiful raw ingredients into Obama's favorite dish. So you can cook it for your first lady or your first man. We'll start by letting the boneless short rib get to room temperature. Short rib is the tastiest and beautiful cut of beef comes from the short plate. That's between the shank and the flank. Well, the beautiful short rib takes the chill off. We start our braising link. One cup of sake, quarter cup of water, one and a half cups of sugar. We're using monk fruit sweetener. It's a healthier keto friendly choice for sugar. But if you don't have that, you can use blue agave. You gotta be kind to your body, but white sugar is okay too. We're gonna stir until the sugar is 100% dissolved and you have this beautiful crystal clear, mm, goodness. Once it dissolves, you bring it to a boil. As soon as you see those bubbles, flame on. The flames, we're gonna let the socket burn out a little bit. We're gonna let that reduce by that much. And when you see a lot of little bubbles, our meat is complete. Very nice consistency on the meat We make our braising liquid. One cup of tamari, gluten-free soy sauce, or you can use low sodium soy. Half a cup of organic blue agave. Michelle likes healthy sweeteners. Quarter cup of meat in. And two cups of water. We give that a nice stir. We bring this up a heavy boil. We take our beautiful short whips and we're gonna cut them in three magnifico pieces. And you just blanch it very quickly to get this short rib ready for some braise. There's these impurities of the beef. So now, family, we have our copacetic marinade and just a little rubber dab and our copacetic sprinkle on this beautiful short rib and let this sit just for a little bit for advanced flavor town goodness. Family, if you do not know how to make this copacetic marinade, I highly suggest you check out our butcher beef party, Baby Obama. <laughs> That smell, mm, mm, mm. We're gonna let that sit for around 30 minutes. While it's braising, all these flavors are just gonna, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Flavor town goodness. Sear the short rib, let it nap. We add the meat. So now that our short ribs are in this fantastic braising liquid spa bath, we'll get our induction crack pop Dutch oven. Say that 10 times at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 degrees Celsius. So it's been two hours, and now we turn our short ribs, and we're gonna let it cook for another hour. A total of three hours. Slow braised short ribs is gonna be very nice. While it's slow braising, we make the cobby glaze. We start our ginger peeler. Oh, it's little baby ginger spoon. Makes it very easy. Look how easy that comes out. And there's no waste. Nice and smooth. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. The little pockets, just like that. And the ginger is peeled in a matter of seconds. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. All it takes is a mini baby spoon. So the ginger has a little mustache. Mustache, no bueno, cause it's like floss. Chef hat, how to prevent ginger mustache. With a very sharp knife, you're gonna cut the ginger against the grain. Look at that, nice clean pieces. No fuzzy wuzzy like that. And then you dice. The glamorous and gorgeous, fantastic garlic. We turn this beautiful bulb into finely diced perfection. That green stuff, is bitter, no good. So we take this green stuff out. Half a cup of water, half a cup of organic blue agave, half a cup of our tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, two tablespoons of finely diced ginger, and one tablespoon of finely diced garlic. We're gonna use this white part right here, two tablespoons of green onion ends. We bring this up to a simmer, 210 degrees Fahrenheit, 99 degrees Celsius. We're gonna let it reduce 
for four to five minutes. Get nice and rich. We're making slurry. I have three tablespoons of arrowroot. We'll add a quarter cup of water. And this is gonna be our thickening agent. Beautiful cobby glaze. We give it a taste. The flavors are magnifico. That are nice. And now, family, we thicken our cowby glaze with our slurry. When you're thickening with cornstarch, arrowroot, or kudzu, after it's thick to your liking, turn it off. You don't want to reduce. You want the consistency to coat a spoon with string. This cowby is going to be so ono. Ono means delicious. Our awesome, magnificent cowby glaze is complete. Into a squirt bottle we go. When you try this recipe, you're gonna go cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. Our baby Dutch oven is done. The short rib, ladies and gentlemen, is very tender. Into the fridge, just to cool it down a bit, and all those flavors are gonna be sucked right up. And now, we make our gochujang sauce. Gochujang is a Korean red chili paste. To start this sexy sauce, half a cup of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of tamari and half a cup monk fruit sweetener. Family, monk fruit sweetener, zero calories. So it's as healthy as you can get. So we mix until the sweetener is completely dissolved. And then we combine one cup gochujang paste in a small pot. So we add the goods. We mix this gochujang just like so nice and slow. Once it comes to a boil, with a little bit of slurry, we thicken. That was about a tablespoon. It coats the spoon very nicely. That sauce is copestead. Some sauces don't need straining, but I like straining my sauces. Oh, beautiful. And now we put it inside our trusty squirt bottle. Kochujang sauce. Oh, wait! It's spicy, it's sweet, very nice. We are almost there. Prepare our ginger scallion for our 11, 15 shrimp. So half a cup of each, our scallions and our ginger. Finely cut, our thinly sliced green onions, our ginger. We season this mixture with some sea salt and we mix our ginger and scallion mixture. So it's even, you want an even bottom throughout the bowl. And we're gonna let it sit for seven minutes and that salt is just gonna be working it out. So it sweats. Half a cup of avocado oil. You're gonna heat the avocado oil 280 degrees. Add one tablespoon of sesame oil. So this is our gorgeous ginger scallion goodness. I switched it from the hot bowl to ceramic so it cools down fast and it goes straight into the ice box. We're straining our oil, very nice. Look at that beautiful goodness. So now the scallion oil inside of this quart bottle. Our ginger scallion is ready. Sesame seed dressing, we'll show you that on another episode. So all our sauces are ready, macadamia nuts, from right here on our island of Hawaii. We make our mac nut crust, but this mac nut crust on that sea bass will give it a little bit of Hawaii. So we add our beautiful local mac nuts inside Donny Bag of Donuts, AKA MC Slim. We want medium chunk. We have three tablespoons of mac nuts, add it with one tablespoon of panko, some sea salt, and a little bit of our ginger scallion oil. We add some fresh parsley, beautiful color, a nice mix. So now we have our beautiful kalbi, a perfect looking cube. Mm, melt in the mouth. Oh wait, that is a magnificent treat. Our hamakua ali'i mushroom. It's one of the best mushrooms, I love it. We cut. Our beautiful mushrooms, heavy. We blanch our corn in a little bit of salt water. We cut our corn kernels. You don't want to get too close to the husk, because then no way. We season the fish with some sea salt and some roasted black pepper, some grapeseed oil. Family, flame on. We cook our shrimp with our ginger oil. Split a beautiful sea bass, very hot. Then we add our ginger scallion, so beautiful. Now we pull the shrimp. The ginger oil, and then crust, just like so. 
to plate the sea bass. We put it in the oven for seven minutes for 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 163 degrees Celsius, our elite mushrooms. We finish with the corn. And a touch of dill. We have skin with short rib. Look nice. Glaze. Family, thank you for joining us on our first episode of Star Dish, presenting the iconic and inspiring President Obama's favorite dish. Barack and Michelle, if you wanna join Felix and Michelle at the chef's table here on Hawaii Island, don't hesitate to hit us up at www.thefelixes.com. And to our subscribers, much love family. We'll see you very soon, so please, be kind to yourself and each other. God bless. Aloha. Much love to Adam Shoot, the archivist of the Barack Obama Presidential Library for the great photo shot. I would like to dedicate this episode of Star Dish to my culinary mentor and one of the godfathers of Hawaii regional cuisine, Chef Alan Wong. Chef Alan, this is for you, Sensei. On August 4, 2008, I was the executive sous chef at State Room in Boston, responsible for cooking President Obama's campaign dinner, 47th birthday dinner. Cooked for him two more times at Alan Wong's King Street in Honolulu, Hawaii. Baby Obama. They used to call me Baby Obama. That is amazing. With cochujang sauce, kabi glaze, colossal shrimp with ginger and green onion. My hero, Barack Obama's star dish. Take care, family. Aloha. Aloha.